got the show tonight. You know, my first guest is one of the stars of Sex and the City, which begins airing on TBS next Tuesday night at 10. Please welcome Kristen Davis. <laughs> You look fantastic. Thank you. you look amazing. Thank you. Well, I wore a bright color last time and you liked it. Last time you were wearing a bright lime color. I was. Yeah, I don't forget a thing. No, I like that. And I watched my old shows over and over again. <laughs> Alone in my that's underwear sad. eating nachos. No, yeah. that's sad. Yeah, I'm like fast forwarding and uh, no, but you look fantastic. Thank, Thank you. you for being here. It's my pleasure. Let's talk about this because I, I can't walk five feet in the city without seeing a giant billboard for Sex in the City because they're showing the whole program over again on TBS. That's right. Now, here's my question. Yes. TBS, it's not cable. How are you going to handle this? I mean, there's, there's cursing in Sex in the City. Yes. Uh, and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a lot of things. There's also uh, there's a lot of nudity. There's nudity. There's yes. boobs are flying yes. on that show. <laughs> I guess that's true. Yes. Um, you know... They literally had, are. We had a similar question, you know, because it, it wasn't something where they came to us and said, well, how do you feel about it, girls? You know, right. and we were like, wow, how's this going to work? It's very, very weird. And for me, I didn't do any looping really during the show or like like filming additional scenes that were not risque, partly because my character's not so risque. Right, right. So we said, OK, all right, great. You guys sold us to TBS. OK, woo, woo. Well, we'll try to be excited. And we were worried, you know. Right. So they did a very smart thing. They're going to start with like kind of um, their favorite episodes, not from the beginning. So right. next week on the 15th starts their favorite episodes. And they sent us, I think, five that they had done the editing on. Yeah. And they were great, and we couldn't tell. I mean, literally, I had to call Cynthia and say, like, what did they leave out? What's missing? Partly because they are cable. They're just not pay cable. But, like, with someone, you know, let's say the Samantha character. Yes, yes Every yes. other word out of her mouth sometimes is the F word, or sometimes she'll just be in a restaurant and she'll take her top off. <laughs> are they going to cut to, you know, like, little uh, kittens Harry, in a basket or something? Oh, <laughs> Two things. Okay, so you know how sometimes you watch a film that you've seen in the theaters and yes. someone looped in a different word? Yes. That happens a lot. Right. So it's not like you don't know what they're saying. You still know what they're saying. That's There's my just... favorite thing about when I sometimes I'll watch, uh, you know, some movie that when you saw in the theaters, every other word was, you know, a swear. Something we can't say. Just uh -huh. something, inc you know, incredibly. Right. And then you see it on TBS and they've dubbed it in. And of course, they couldn't get Pacino to come in ah, and dub in ah, other right, words. Right, 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 and so right. they always, and they want to try and make it. So right. they're like, you know, you made a big mistake, buddy. I'm going to take your head and rub it with peanut butter. Right. And they're trying to, and you're like, what kind of threat is that? Well, I'll hit you with a pillow, you numbskull monkey. Oh, well, we tried to do a better job at it than that. I actually saw, uh, they, we, they supplied us with one of the Sex in the City episodes with all of the profanity and all of the sex taken out. Let's take a look right now. Oh, no. I'm your face is glowing. Did you get a facial or something? And it's I didn't miss anything. Honey, that was really, really funny. I didn't miss anything. You know, one of the things. So, so sometimes, absolutely, they have taken a whole right, like right, shot right. out. Like they, right. they do the episode where we go to Staten Island and Samantha right. has sex with the fireman. But they they leave a lot in, and they right. didn't edit for time. So there's some of the episodes are like 30 minutes, 35 minutes. So she comes down the pole in the fireman outfit that's kind of covering strategically. Right. And so you know what's going on, and then they just. Don't show the scene where they're actually having sex. You know what they the should do? There's that movie Showgirls. Yeah. That, uh, yeah. And I, I talk about this movie a lot, and I work it into you conversations. Do? Um, but <laughs> in the movie Showgirls, they show that movie, I think, on TBS or one they of those do. channels sometimes. And that's a movie where everybody's nude all the time. Right. And what they did is they took a computer and they added clothes to people. No. Literally, they like didn't. sweaters and beekeepers' outfits and. <laughs> Kidding. They did. I'm not. I'm not even You're joking about that. They Do added. Do have a clip of that? No, no, no. I'm sorry. We're that would no, cost money. We don't have. Darn, <laughs> what darn, kind of show do you darn, think this darn. is? But I'll tell you what's really funny too. There's a whole Charlotte episode where she has a, a gynecological issue yes. and she talks about it mm -hmm. because you know they show female issue commercials where yes. people say words. Yes, so they all do. those words are in. All those words are fine. The more scientific words. Speaking of which, you're going to stick around to the end of the show because I'm our third. Third no. guest, it gets pretty risque. I play Charlotte Conan. So that's really part of you. You get up tight talking about uh, uh, sex and uh, the female body. On television, sure, sure, yeah. It's very late at night, and this isn't really a professional television show. 
You could argue it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Stick around. It's going to be fun. Um, I'm sure. You know, I had one thing I wanted to tell you, which is about a year ago, my producer, Jeff Ross, my head writer, Mike Sweeney, and myself, we went and did a USO show, mm. uh, USO tour uh, nice. overseas in the Persian Gulf. And one of the first things that happened to us is we get off the plane, and I think this guy who picked us up, I don't know if he was from Alabama or where, but he's from someplace in the south, and we get into his car, and he said, now, where are you fellas... Where are you fellas coming from? Mm -hmm. And I said, uh, well, we're coming from New York City. And he went, boy, I've never been, but I bet it's just like sex in the city. <laughs> and I didn't want to break his heart. I'm glad. I think that your show single-handedly raised every guy's expectation of what uh... New York City would be like, because I'm speaking from my own experience. For me, it's a cherry Coke at the Olive Garden. And, uh, <laughs> you know... Nobody was talking to me for years and years oh, at a time. no, I don't believe that for a second. True story. Um, <laughs> Hi, ladies. Maybe later. No. I'll be over here. No, Conan. But do you find that that's true, that there are people who think that anytime they go out in New York City, it's going to be gorgeous women, green apple martinis? Uh, I do, but you know what I, I've found? I don't go out a lot myself, but sometimes if, like, my agents come or something, they'll say, meet us out at some place, and I'll think, well, that place sounds familiar, and we end up get there, and I'm like, oh, we shot here. Because, I mean, I don't think there's a restaurant or a bar that we did not shoot a scene in. So I'll be like, oh, we shot blah, blah, blah there. And I'll look around, and all the girls look fabulous, and they're all wearing four-inch heels, and they're all drinking apple martinis. So whether So you're we... saying don't go to the Olive Garden. Is what you're... Maybe I'm saying that. <laughs> No offense. Maybe no offense. I, was, I was probably not. I never knew where the cool places to go Aww, were. Well, me neither. See, if we hadn't shot the show, I wouldn't know any of these places. I don't even know them now. But if someone took me there, I'd recognize them. Right. But I think it did influence either we. I think it was kind of like we took our inspiration from them and then they it was all got happening into at the same it. Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was impressed with these girls. I right. was like, they're just dust. See, look at your front row. Look at them, they're adorable. Oh, they're, these girls they're, right here, yes. Yeah, they're yes, like they're Shoot those girls, yeah, they're nice. You know? They got the straps. Yeah, and the, hello, the girls, how are you? Shoes. Nice to see you. Oh, you know, it's so funny because when you said, yeah? when you said, I mean, the girls here are wonderful. I mean, look at your front row. The first thing I saw was this guy in the shorts and the baseball cap. <laughs> He's a nice guy. He's nothing against, No, nothing against that guy, <laughs> sure. But, but I thought, <laughs> I thought... You wanted yeah, me to come on to him, and yeah. I... That but would I do, be later after the that, show. I mean, I don't... I think we had a... <laughs> I don't mean to interrupt on? you. No, that's okay. Is this on? Yes, it's on. Are you having, like, a flashback? Hello. Uh, <laughs> I was. I'm a weird guy. Uh, You're on tonight. I like the wandering around part. You like that, that part? That was fun. You know, I just feel that TV needs to be less rigid. That's, yeah, shake it up. Shake it up a yeah. little bit. Yeah. We gotta, We gotta raise the roof. I think that's how the kids... Yeah. Uh. No, 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 no. I was being sarcastic. Don't ever get behind that again. <laughs> There'll be no raising of the roof here. You got to stick around. This uh, Regina Thomas show. It's going to be a pretty. I'm now we had a scene Sexy. on the show. <laughs> That, that was a little scary. Actually. That was more scary to you than sexy. A, li a little. You don't find this sexy. <laughs> You're right. You know what? That's more Sinister. God speaking from the heavens than sexy God. That's more yeah, like, like Moses. Yeah. Like a God Sex in the City premieres on TBS next Tuesday night at 10. I always have such a good time when you come by. And it's Please just like this. How did that happen? No, I don't know. It's just it's a, when we get together, just time just doesn't seem to matter. Don't tell your wife. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, guys in the audience are like, go for it, Conan! <laughs> and do what at this point? <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Kristen Davis, everyone. Steve Keegan's going to be right back.